Wake Promotions Corporation. Um, all right, guys, let me ask you to run it. Wake Jamaica Limited, along with other local and international stakeholders, will be hosting a webinar on therapeutic mushrooms and their role in health and wellness. The event is tomorrow, September 23. Joining us now to share the details, advisor with Wake Jamaica Limited, Audia Barnett, and president of Jampro, Ms. Diane Edwards. Morning, ladies. Welcome to Smart Jamaica. Oh, your colors are so Good lovely. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. to see you this morning. How are you both doing before we start? Everything all right on your end amidst Very COVID? Very well. Very wonderful. Excellent. Good to hear that. Giving thanks. Good to hear that. Um, Diane, I'm going to start with you. Because Jamaica is known as a, a destination for many things. Um, tourism destination, health maybe? Is this what, what we're sweeping this under? Where would this yes. fall? Talk to me a little bit about where this falls. Well, um, good morning to your listeners. It's great to be on Smile Jamaica and hoping everyone is really safe and following protocols. Um, yes, health is on everyone's mind at this moment, and we really feel it is important that we expand the pillars on which the Jamaican economy is based. So Jampro is always looking for new cutting edge areas that we can partner on and that we can develop in Jamaica and where we have a real opportunity to develop global business. So mushrooms, and the psilocybin mushroom in particular is an area where we can develop our own expertise and develop a, a cluster of um, health oriented businesses that look at research and development, look at clinical trials, look at um, promoting the health benefits of specific products. And so we came across this psilocybin mushroom through the work of the University of the West Indies and a Canadian researcher who is here doing R&D work with them. And we thought this would be a real opportunity to explore further the, the opportunity to look at the health benefits of mushrooms. And it's an area where we can manage a full value chain because we can grow the mushrooms, process them and develop extracts um, and treat some illnesses from Jamaica. That's very exciting. And when I hear the UWI and research, I get even more excited because I know we're pioneers in that field. This is where Canisol was developed way back when, um, when marijuana was, was, you know, found as being beneficial to glaucoma. So this is exciting news and I can't wait to see um, what comes out of this. But let me ask Audia to tell us a little more about the psilocybin mushroom because we hear all sorts of things about mushrooms. Um, I hear, I read here, it's three general categories, gourmet edibles, functional, medicinal, and therapeutic mushrooms. So audio, psilocybin would obviously fall under the therapeutic, correct? Therapeutic. Tell, me, tell me a little bit about that mushroom and what the benefits are. Um, and I'm going to say perceived to be, because if the research is happening, then it must be, um, you know, denotative. Um, so it must be proven. But talk to me about it. What are the benefits about the mushroom okay. and what the benefits are? Okay, so mushrooms in general, we know that mushrooms are very nutritious, um, very high in essential amino acids and vitamins, etc. But these particular type of mushrooms have a, a, a chemical called psilocybin or psilocybin. Now, this chemical has been shown to uh, impact brain health. And so in many other jurisdictions, apart from Jamaica, research has been ongoing for many years or for several years and more so recently on using psilocybin mushrooms to treat mental health illnesses, PSTD, uh, OCD, anxiety, migraine headaches, cluster headaches, you name it. Recently, Canada actually approved this drug in, 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 in psilocybin mushrooms to be used in palliative care for persons who were at the end of you know, their life and um, for easy transition. So the, the, the research is ongoing, it's extremely exciting. And as Diane mentioned, it's an area that we, our brilliant scientists here have, have an opportunity to, to partake in. Wow, so when could we be looking at seeing something coming out of this? We know the R&D phase is uh, a lengthy phase, importantly so, because we have to make sure we go through all the proper tests and safety protocols. 
But when could we see this actually like being a thing? Well, you know, scientists tend to be a bit cautious in terms of giving time frames, but we feel that partnering with WIC network out of Canada uh, that has a very robust um, scientific platform and, say, and um, experienced scientists working in the area, we should be able to partner with University of the West Indies and other stakeholders here to do some clinical trials, of course, we have to get permission from the Ministry of Health right. and other government agencies. Okay. So there, there are several I's to be dotted and T's to be crossed. Yeah. And um, we, we, Jamaica, is very interested in doing it the proper way. And so we can't really give a time frame. We're trying our best, but research and development takes time. And we are hoping with our international collaborations, we could shorten this process. Understood, Diane. Um, I know your chairman always says opportunities in the crisis, right? Um, my name Absolutely. is Don Webe. I don't know if you're watching this morning, but this is a... This is an area of opportunity, no? I mean, things are tough, but it has implications for not only um, the health of our people, but the economy of our country. Absolutely. And this is why Jampro is so excited to be participating in this, because we feel that we need to look at new industries. How do we develop um, answers to the healthcare crisis that we're going through, not just People are in crisis, not only on a physical level, but also on an emotional, spiritual, mental level. And we think that by doing R&D in the healthcare area, we can really start to make an impact and grow new industries. Um, we, what we want to do in Jampro is to create new opportunities that will keep our scientists, our medical professionals home in Jamaica doing research which can impact the world globally and we feel that we have a real opportunity to do that we definitely have the minds but we're losing some of those minds so we need to develop the partnerships that audio was talking about and i think the partnership with wake in canada tomorrow we have for instance um Dr. Grigsby from the University of Colorado and another um, neuroscientist and pharmacist, um, Dr. Olga Chernalos, who is coming on board with our professors from mental health um, <clears throat> and the Department of Psychiatry at UEMONA. And this partnership will really create a new center of research and development. And that's re really what we want to see, new opportunities, new industries, um, unusual industries for Jamaica developing. Very, very exciting. It's 10 o'clock to noon tomorrow. Um, Diane is speaking, Nick Murray, Pauline Smith, Olga Chernotos, Jim. Chernotos. Mm -hmm. Okay, Chernotos. Sorry, couldn't see that so clearly. Um, who do you want to be on this, um, on this event tomorrow? Audio, who should be there? Diane, who should be there? And we, we're looking for the professionals in the mental health um, business, uh, psychiatrists, the medical fraternity in general, and, and, and persons who are interested in mental health. Uh, I think more and more recently, Jamaica has turned its attention to the fact that mental health is an issue. Absolutely. And if, if we can um, address this through a multifaceted way, then, you know, all the better for us. So we want anyone who's interested in mental health, but also, as Diane mentioned, persons looking for new um, opportunities for R&D and looking long term in terms of Jamaica's growth and development. So we are opening it up to, to, to you know, all interested parties. And so how, Diane, yeah. do those interested parties, how do they register and become a part of the webinar? They register online through dobusinessjamaica.com and, um, and they just tune in online. So I think the, the, the opportunity really, um, as Audia said, is to look at entrepreneurs. We actually have a whole group of women in Mandeville yes, um, I'm reading. who are doing bio mushrooms. And this is what we want to see more of, producing mushrooms. So there is a business opportunity here as well. So we want everyone to tune in who is interested in mushrooms, in growing them, in processing them, in, and, and as Audia said, in the applications, the health applications of mushrooms. Okay, so give us the, the website again where we go to register. It's Do Business Jamaica. Do Business Jamaica. Com. Com. Okay, and you start at 10 o'clock Jamaica time. 
10 o'clock we make right, a time. Folks. Real time. Real, real time. <laughs> oh, real time because 10 o'clock Jamaica time is easily 10.30, 11 o'clock. 10 o'clock, folks, tomorrow morning. Do businessjamaica.com if you're interested in what seems to be a very, very exciting, exciting endeavor then please um, tune in to this. Thank you, ladies. Audia Barnett, advisor with Wake Jamaica Limited and president of Jampro, Diane Edwards. Have a great day to you both. Thank Thanks you for, for joining us. Much. And Thanks. coming Thanks up, we're going to talk you. tech. We'll be sharing top five Zoom alternatives. Back with that in a minute.